hey y'all welcome back to my channel this is a girl chat video we're going to talk about feminine hygiene today feminine hygiene and how to make sure that kitty sitting pretty and smelling good at all times I personally feel like I'm a connoisseur when it comes to vaginal health care as well as the body but today we're really going to focus on the vagina and how we keep her healthy and as well as clean and smelling good and also just giving the tips that I wish I would have known at a younger age like a lot of things come with living life and experience so for me you know I had to learn the hard way for some things so if I can give you a few tips that'll help you then that's what I'm here for so we're gonna jump right into it because <clears throat> listen the list can go on and on because I personally feel like Mm, I could talk about this all day. I got my phone so I can refer back to some things I wrote down so I won't forget anything. But yes, ladies, let's jump right into it. Actually, stop right now. Go subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. The first thing we're going to talk about is just overall vaginal cleanliness. Like keeping your pocketbook clean. Now, we all know that there are tons of products out on the market that target the women's vaginal system why did i say that that target the vagina in general there is everything from vaginal washes to vaginal plugs to vaginal rinses and it's so much stuff that i can't keep up to be honest with you but i'm just going to give you what i use so when it comes to keeping my pocketbook clean i like to use my good hands okay i know a lot of people use towels and loafers and different things of that nature but when i am washing my vagina i specifically use my hand and i use my hand with warm water to really rinse her out you know make sure she's good um also i'm not opposed to if you have a this what's it called where you can like take it off the head a shower head that you can take off a removable shower head and really rinse in there rinse her out but um just because i feel like personally different soaps throw off your ph balance but one soap that i have come across actually two is honey pot i personally vouch for honey pot for the girls with sensitive cats okay because my my sister down there she don't like nothing she don't like nothing but this sensitive honey pot paraben and dioxide free plant-based feminine care wash literally works like when i want to use a because honestly if i'm being honest with you i don't always use soap down there because honestly it doesn't always need it but say if it's my time of the month or if i just feel like i've been really working out hard or you know i just need a little extra then i will go ahead and grab my honey pot and you can find this at your local Target, and I believe on their website directly, you can order it. So if you're going to look for something to wash your badge with, I would suggest the Honey Pot brand. Um, I know that there is the Vagisils and the Summer's Eve. I will say you should speak to your doctor when it comes to using any products down there because they can attest to you what works best for your body because they know your body. I am in no way a doctor or am I suggesting things that I think will work for you. I'm telling you it works for me. But my doctor did tell me that Summer's Eve, Vagisil products, things like that, um, throw off your pH balance. I know a lot of us think that because they are directed to women and women's vaginal health that it's good for you but it's not that's what i was told by my doctor and i follow that strictly also for my home girl um i will use the baby dove sensitive care hypoallergenic wash fragrance free and this is what that looks like you can also find this at your local target this is really good to keep her clean and no irritation afterwards it doesn't burn it doesn't sting um but i just use this like on the outside of my vagina the top part you know we should be net we should be never we should never be directly putting any soaps no matter what they are saying on the bottle even if it's for the vagina directly inside of your vaginal holes that's not what it's for you should be using this on the outer parts like cleaning the lips and things of that nature but you should not directly be putting it inside of your private parts because that will cause so many problems and will also lead to uh, 
yeast infections, pH balance being thrown off, just things you don't want to deal with. So just make sure when you are keeping homegirl clean that you're using something that works for you that your doctor would recommend or that you know works for you. These are the two products that I suggest simply because they are fragrance free, natural, and they don't have any added to fragrance, anything of that nature that will harm your vagina. So that's what I use when it comes to keeping her clean, of course, and next to that is just using warm water and using your hands to really just clean her out. You know, you know your body, you know you and if you don't know your body, get familiar with your body. And that's one thing I will say comes with age. Getting familiar with your body and what it takes well and what it doesn't, that's what I learned and hopefully I can help a younger girl who's just not too sure. Like, you know, when you're when I was younger I was trying to use the summer eves and the monostat washes and all the washes directed to you know keeping your vagina smelling florally and smelling like a piece of cake and if we're being honest your vagina is not supposed to smell like peaches and cream it is supposed to smell like sometimes it does have odor but most of the times personally I don't have any odor at all but it's not supposed to smell perfumey and fragrance and florally and fruity it's the vagina and you just need to just let it be clean and as a woman, we do have natural body odor down there, have natural scents. Um, and you need to get familiar with scents and what scents to look for and what scents to be alarmed by. Um, as a woman, you may have some days where you're more acidic down there and you may have a little acidic -y smell. It might be a little more potent, but it shouldn't stink. Just remember that. If you smell foul, you need to call your gynecologist because listen, the BVs and the yeast infections be sneaking up on all my good sisters and we all would be lying if we said that we've never had an issue down there now I mean unless you got a magic vagina a magic oven down there maybe you ain't never had no issues but you know I done lived a little bit of life so I will say I've had issues and I will say with certain infections you can have different smells I'm not talking about STDs I'm talking about just different infections you can get whether you're sexually active or not um so when it comes to those things, I will speak on bacteria vaginosis. When I was pregnant with my daughter, that was the first time I got it. BV is something that is very uncomfortable down there, but it's not something you really know you have until you um, get until it gets pretty bad. And that was me. I didn't know I had a bacteria vaginosis until I had an odor, and the odor was foul. The odor was fishy and very, very foul to me. I did not like it, and I was just like, man, it's, it shouldn't smell like this. So I called my gynecologist, went into the doctor, and they let me know that it was BV. And it's basically an overgrowth of bacteria in the vagina. And that can happen whether you are sexually active or not. So don't be alarmed. Don't feel like, you know, something's wrong with you if this happens. It happens to anyone. It can happen to anyone. Um, but it can be it can be a lot of, a number of things that cause it. But um, the best thing to do when you have that issue call your doctor my doctor got me in and prescribed me a prescription that I had to take for um a while and it got rid of it and I was good but what they don't tell you about BV is they give you an antibiotic to take care of the BV which gives you a yeast infection it's all insane um some doctors will go ahead and give you the yeast infection pill to take after you complete your antibiotic some don't so um just look for those symptoms too because Antibiotics do cause yeast infections, and that's another thing we'll talk about is yeast infections. You can get yeast infections from simply taking antibiotics. Say you're taking an antibiotic because you had surgery on your elbow, on your knee, whatever, and you get a yeast infection. That's simply because the antibiotic. And people don't know that sometimes, at least I did it at an early age, um, that antibiotics can cause yeast infections. So when you are getting an antibiotic or on an antibiotic, you should be considering talking to your doctor about going ahead and prescribing you the yeast infection medicine that can go ahead and be taken on the back end of the antibiotic so you don't have to experience the uncomfortableness of a yeast infection. Um, but I will tell you that yeast infections are more common than not um my birth control that I was on at one point caused me to have chronic yeast infections like and I didn't realize it until I got off the birth control and my yeast infections completely stopped never didn't see one after that but I will tell you one thing that helps me greatly when I felt that I was having a yeast infection were a few things that I used one being um hydrogen peroxide three percent 
I actually spoke with a um, a holistic doctor or a, a herbalist, something of that nature. And she told me that um, good ways to get rid of yeast infections early on when you're feeling them coming or feeling the discomfort of a yeast infection is to use a dish. And right here, I have a dish, for example, if you've never used a dish, um, this is what it looks like. But let me, let me put my disclaimer. You should not be dushing. Dushing is not good for you. But using a dish in this manner is different because you're not using the product that comes in a dish. You pour it out completely and rinse out the dish. And all you do is half warm water and half the peroxide and you shake it up and then you use it up there and it helps give you comfort when you are in discomfort from a yeast infection. Like I said, this is things that helped me. I'm just suggesting them to you if that's something you wanna try. Please contact your doctor and see if that's something that will work for you. Um, when she told me that I knew nothing about it, the peroxide um, in the warm water actually like, like soothes the vagina from the irritation, the itching, and the discomfort as well as the um the discharge it, it it literally clears your yeast infection up faster than the medication also taking a bath with about two cups of epsom salt and warm water and just soaking down there because sometimes you know when you do have a yeast infection you got a lot going on it can be very irritating down there um so yeah those are the things that i do when i feel irritation coming on for my yeast infection and yeah just kind of just keeping my ph balance if i even if i feel like i have a little bit older like acidic or older i'll even use my um warm water and peroxide to just clean me out and get me balanced and it works it works the next thing i want to talk about is whew, i feel like i'm talking about a lot of stuff but anyway the next thing i want to talk about is your monthly cycle growing up i had the worst cramps like the absolute worst cramps and i still have really bad cramps to this day but i had very hard cycles and what i want to suggest to a lot of people is organic pads organic pads tampons changed my life like truly um i had an experience where like i said i have a very sensitive um private area and it one day freaked out like I was probably like 22, 23. Freaked out. I normally use pads, used always pads. My homegirl swell up huge, just big. I couldn't figure out why. She was so irritated, so like, but I go to the emergency room and they tell me that I am allergic to the pads. Mind you, I've used the same pads for years. My bad, y'all. My camera died. But um, I had an allergic reaction to pads. And mind you, I've used those pads my whole life. Never had any grief or issues with them until that day. And they told me that I should use organic pads or tampons from here on out. Because actually, pads have a lot of chemicals in it that we don't even know about that are not good for us. And switching over to organic pads, panty liners, and tampons changed my life when I say I went from having a seven day cycle sometimes eight day cycle to a four day cycle never did I think that the pads were causing me to have a long cycle I still to this day I don't know what it was if I'm being honest with you I don't know what that, I don't know what caused it to be shorter but using organic changed the game so my favorite brand of organic um, feminine products for cycles are the L brand, they have chlorine free um, pads, tampons, and liners. These are the liners that I use on a daily basis. They work really well and they were like a game changer for me. But recently, I have fallen in love with Honey Pot's tampons. When I say she did her thing with these, I don't know if y'all have used any other organic brand tampons but the push part when you push it up it usually doesn't come out i don't know if the way they're made you got to really work hard to get it out these you push them up it's easy very easy to use i would highly recommend 10 out of 10 get you some honey pot tampons and these can also be found all these products um, that i just showed you for your cycle can be found at target 
So I highly recommend Honey Pot's um, Organic Super Tampons, the unscented organic with bioplastic app applicators. They're plant-based in for feminine care. Now, mind you, Final Works for You, there's tons of organic brands that you can use. That's just my preference. And, you know, I can only recommend to you what I've actually used. Like these, like you, as you see, like this box is already open. This is not nothing I just bought. Like I use these products monthly on a daily basis. Like these are things that I use that I'm just suggesting for you just in case you want to try something new. I'm just saying if you want a shorter cycle, try organic pet or tampon. It'll change your life. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is just how to properly take care of your pocketbook after sex. People don't talk about that often, but um, one thing I did learn is that urinating after sex is very crucial. It's actually a non-negotiable. You should be trying to use the restroom after you have sex just because it helps flush out bacteria and things of that nature. And then, of course, you always want to clean yourself after having sex. I'm not going to go into deep, but like, you know, after you have sex, you definitely want to um, cleanse yourself whichever way you choose to clean your private area but make sure you clean it before you lay back down because that's how you allow bacteria and different things to just breed in there you know when you are sexually active you're swapping fluids and different things of that nature so you just want to make sure you clean your girl up so that she doesn't sit and breed in any germs or any bacteria that can cause you to have any yeast infections bacteria vaginosis you know, things of that nature. And of course, I really hope that everybody's having protective sex so that you can protect yourself from STDs as well. Um, and when it just comes to keeping her healthy all around, my favorite thing to use right now is the Women's Vaginal Support Probiotic. It has over 50 billion strands of probiotics and I get the 365 whole food brand from whole foods grocery store and I would highly recommend these are really good for keeping your pH balance intact also keeping the probiotic and it helps with so many things too it helps with gut health it helps keep um you know your pH on balance I'm trying to find Okay, I can't find what I'm looking for. But this is really good for a daily vaginal vitamin that works to keep you on track. So if you're looking for a probiotic that can keep your pH balanced and keep your vagina healthy overall, I would highly recommend Whole Foods 365 Women's Vaginal Support Probiotic. I also like Women's Best. That is not the name of that. That is a protein powder. I can't think of the name of it. Nature's Best. Yes, they also have one. And you can find them at Whole Foods as well. This one just is a lot cheaper on the scale of uh, money. These are like $20. The other pack, the other 30 day supply is 50, 49, something like that for 30 day supply. But the benefits are both the same. So um, it just depends on what works for you. If that's what you like, I highly recommend using a um, probiotic just to help with different things like your urinary tracts keeping that on on track because sometimes our urinary tract gets off um and i see a lot of girls talk about drinking cranberry juice which yes drinking cranberry juice is a big helper of keeping your urinary tract very healthy but what they don't tell you is they're drinking the type that you should be drinking, I'm not going to tell what they're drinking, but I do see a lot of girls drinking regular cranberry juice full of sugars, which does not help. It actually har hurts you in the long run because the sugar is just feeding the bacteria. Um, You should be using pure cranberry juice with no added additives and no sugar. It does not taste good. It's actually very tart, bitter, and sour. But that is the cranberry juice that will help keep your urinary tract clean and free of any type of like i'm not gonna say it's gonna keep it free but like say you have um some irritation in the urinary tract where you feel like you're urinating a lot or it kind of hurts to urinate and you go to the doctor even if the doctor diagnoses you with the uti um 
one thing that they highly recommend is drinking pure cranberry juice. So sometimes just drinking that um, after sex too just helps. Just keep everything intact. That's where I'm going to leave that. You know, you just want to make sure you're doing the best that you can do to keep your vagina healthy. Um, the next thing that I will talk about is also sometimes we get irritation down there from either sometimes we don't realize it, but taking baths and sitting in that water too much and too often can actually be bad for you because um, taking a bath, just sitting in, basically sometimes um, we don't think about it because sometimes we just jump in the tub, but you should be showering before you get in the tub and after. And you're sitting in dirt basically when you're taking a bath and you haven't done so, which causes a lot of problems down there as well. Um, my doctor actually told me that 15 minutes should be the longest amount of time you stay in the bathtub. After 15 minutes, you are sitting in your dirt, you're breathing in. It's just unnecessary. So if you're going to take a nice warm bath and want to soak, make sure you take a shower before to wash all your dirt off and after to rinse it off from sitting in the tub. And just don't stay in longer than 15 minutes. Like, honestly, I know we want to sit in the tub and lounge and relax, but think about your sis down there, she can't take too much. So 15 minutes is what I was told. Now, do I stay in a little longer sometimes? Absolutely. But I definitely try to make sure that I rinse off and do it in a manner to where I don't have problems. But um, I'm trying to think. I have so much stuff up here to talk about. Um, when it comes to just washing the body, my favorite go-to soap, Dove. Dove has been that girl since I can remember since before I had a choice you know in buying products in things I was using that has always been that girl and she remains that girl because she doesn't cause me any problems I don't have any infections I don't have like Dove is one of those soaps that I can use and I'll always be good so that is my number one choice when it comes to a body wash body bar whatever um, I use Dove Dove is really good, it's really sensitive, it's really good for dry skin, it's just good all around. So if you're looking for a soap that you can get really clean, as well as won't bother your vagina, I suggest Dove. Dove is that girl. Um, do I use other body washes? Yes, but that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm just talking about just the basic cleanser. Like, I use a Dove soap first, no matter what. Like, And then I'll go in after... I've washed with my Dove. I feel like Dove is like that soap I need to get clean and then I use the soap for fragrance or to smell good. But I will say when you're washing your private area, you do wanna make sure, not your private area, but your body. You wanna make sure that you're avoiding down there as much as possible. You should not be washing that with your fragrance body washes. And you wanna be careful that that soap, I mean, it's gonna run down there because you're washing your body, but you wanna be sure that you're rinsing it out as fast as possible because you don't want that to sit down there and cause any problems. And also remember ladies, wash your private before and after your shower. That way if there's anything on it from your fragrance or anything, you can get it off and rinse it off and it'll be nice and clean and not irritated. And that's one thing that I have learned is making sure you don't leave anything. Rinse, rinse thoroughly and you'll be fine. Um, when it comes to bathing, ladies, in 2022, can we please throw out loafahs? Because, for one, the maintenance of a loafah is really over. It's not over the top, but it's just annoying that you got to throw it out every 30 days because it holds so much bacteria. Um, and it's just like you wash them, they unravel, like, ugh, just let them go. I have recently fallen in love. When I say in love, I won't go back to the exfoliant, exfoliating hydro towels from Target. These are like an exfoliating towel, so it is a bit rough, I won't lie to you, but I like a good scrub when I wash my body. Um, it's not too rough for me personally. I'll show y'all again. You can find these at Target, and it is a exfoliating towel, and you can wash these. Like, you can wash a local too, but this is, Something that I literally, I can just wash every couple of days. I usually only use these for about two or three showers. And then I'm going to wash it. And, um, but it airs out. It's not in that pouch just holding on bacteria. You can literally hang it in the shower. It'll, it'll dry out. You know, it won't hold the moisture and bacteria in it. I'm not saying that 
it won't get dirty because that's not what I said. Um, but I'm just saying that it's a more sanitary way to get the body clean and it works really good. It scrubs the body so good. Um, you really feel clean after using this and it also helps your skin to stay really soft. Um, and the next thing I like to use for like my um, fragrance washes is this. It's a silicone, um, I guess like a silicone loafer in a, in a sense. But you're able to sanitize this. You're able to disinfect it. You can do it every day if you want. And it works really well. It lathers really well. Even though it's silicone, it lathers really well and it washes the body and it feels nice on the skin it's not rough at all it feels really good on the body and then it also has this little beaded part which kind of just gives you like a like a gentle massage if you use it while you're in the shower and wash it it feels nice to the body i highly recommend it. these can be found on amazon mind you all the products that i use today i will link in the bio so that you can find them on your own when you're out shopping and picking up products that you want to try i highly recommend 10 out of 10 I think we're getting down to the to the brunt of it. Let's talk about panties. Um, I know a lot of girls don't wear panties these days. At least the girls I talk to, a lot of girls don't wear panties. I'm not bashing you. This is not a place for judgment. I'm just saying some people don't wear panties. Um, if you do wear panties, um, the tip that I've always been told is that you should wear cotton panties. The part that's on the bottom where, you know, she sits, it should be a white cotton cotton base because all the panties that we are buying with color and cuteness and all that, that dye can get into your homegirl, which causes that ripple effect of issues. So we wanna just make sure that we have breathable cotton panties on so that we can keep from getting those having those issues. For me, all my panties are not white at the bottom. That's why I have this big bag of panty liners. These I use every day so that I can put them at the bottom of my underwear. And if there are days that I choose not to wear underwear, I can put them in my pants or whatever, just to give my, give me some protection, you know, to keep me, keep me sanitary down there. Also, we want to make sure that we are keeping her clean when we're using the restroom. You know, um, tissue is not always the best. I know that sometimes that's all we have to use, but I highly recommend using wipes. Now, these are not feminine wipes. These are actually baby wipes, but let me tell you, all baby wipes are not good. These are the Millie wipes, Millie Moon wipes. They are organic, sensitive wipes, but they also are pH balanced. And it has a natural formula, dermatology, dermatologically tested, natural formula, pH balance, plant-based cloth. These don't have any extra fragrance, anything to make it smell good, even like a baby. They don't smell like anything. It's just like water wipes, basically. But I really like these. And I keep these in my bathroom for when I um, use the restroom. So I can give her a nice, good, clean. You know, I often think like if... We use these on babies, even when they, you know, tinkle. Why would we use it on ourselves? I just often doubt that. So I, I just use wipes. And then I often just wonder, like, if, like, that tissue just, just doesn't, 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 blah, 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 blah. that tissue just doesn't do it for me. So personally, I like to use wipes to feel the ultimate clean. Um, also, in my purse, I keep wipes as well just so that I can have them on the go. There are so many brands that you can buy, but I personally like the Millie Moon wipes, and they also have a smaller pack that I keep in my purse for travel purposes. Ooh. And I feel like that helps with just giving you an overall cleanness, keeping you fresh all the times. You know, you're always clean. You know, also, if you notice at the doctor, when you go see the gynecologist, they have them in the little changing area where you get your check, when you change your clothes, they don't have tissue there waiting for you. So I just feel like wipes are the best way to go. But, you know, like I said, do what's best for you because I can only suggest what works for me. The last thing I want to talk about, I feel like I've talked about so much. No, I actually have two more things to talk about. Is the grooming of your private area. When it comes to grooming, I am very much a Brazilian wax girl, okay? I don't have time for the razors and the shaving creams and the, 
I don't have time. I tried it. It doesn't it doesn't benefit me, I will say. Um, there is nothing wrong with the shaving. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm what I'm saying is my hair grows back so fast that literally I can shave today and turn around tomorrow and need to shave again. And after a while that gets old and the benefits of a Brazilian wax is that you really don't have to do anything down there as far as grooming, besides cleaning it of course. Um, but every three weeks for me. Now everybody's different. Some people can go six weeks. I can only go three weeks. I have really fast growing hair. My hair just grows fast and I can't keep keep it longer than three weeks. So um, I personally like to get a wax. I go to the Brazilian Wax Center. No, it's the European Wax Center in Edmond. Uh, my favorite waxer is Mariah. Um, please don't have her booked. I hate telling y'all stuff because every time I tell the public what I use, my girls will be booked up. But no, she's awesome. Like, her name is Mariah and she's at the European Wax Center in Edmond off of Bryant. And for the girls that do like to shave, because there are some times that I do have to shave, it's very rare, but I use Aveeno's Positively Smooth Shave Gel. And... I don't know if y'all can see that. It works so good. And it's very good and sensitive as well as hydrating. I use this mostly on my legs, but if I have to shave my privates, I will use this shaving cream. It works really good. Also found at Target. And let me give y'all a tip. Stop using them women's razors. I know they're cute, they're pink, they got floral stuff on them. Let me let me put you on. Those five blade men's razors cut so close and get so much hair off you don't have those pricklies you it's literally baby bottom soft after you shave with those razors i highly recommend i don't have any on me right now because i need to re-up but i'll talk about razors and shaving in another video but personally i have found that men's razors are more beneficial than women's razors because women razors just don't do it they aren't that girl. I'm sorry. Those men razors are that guy. And you should definitely dive into them. They work really well. And for me, I don't have to shave as frequently. Um, I do have to shave a lot still, like under my arms and my legs, still every few days. But with the women's razor, like the next day, I can already feel the pricklies. And after a while, that just gets old. So shout out to the men for having something for once. And um, also, when I say Target, just sponsor me target because that's all i know i can't tell you no other product that's gonna work for you besides target no not other product other place to shop besides target like you can literally get everything you need for hygiene purposes at target that's just that's just my that's just what i think but you know who am i i'm just telling y'all what i use but the last thing i think I think I done talked about everything. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the boric acid suppositories found on Amazon. You may have seen them in other YouTube videos. The girls, we talked about them. And I'm going to just say they are called Nutriblast suppository applicators. Um, basically, it's like an applicator. And it also comes with um, Boric Life All Natural Supports pH Balance and Vaginal Health Suppositories. These pills work so well when it comes to having any type of irritation down there. Say you, I don't know, maybe you had on something all day and then after you took your clothes off that night and showered, she's not feeling that great. She's a little irritated. Pop one of these bad boys up there and literally the symptoms go away now mind you if you have any irritation that lasts too long you need to see your doctor but like if I feel something coming or like she just not right these get you together okay um, boric acid pills really do help as well um, as fighting like yeast infections in uh, BV different things like that um, but it is not the answer it's not the antibiotic that you take from the doctor let me make that clear but they do help keep you balanced so if you feel like your pH is a little off this is also something that you can use to help get right back on track this is not this is not medicine this this is not medicine to cure yeast infections or those things these do help and actually they can kind of get rid of all the symptoms but also if you 
if you're being honest, you should be going to the doctor to make sure that you're just free of any infections, any bacteria in that sense. But just for like small, listen, our vaginas constantly go through things and sometimes you don't actually need a doctor, you just need something quick like this to pop up there and just get rid of the issue. Sometimes you may have, now let's be real, sometimes you may have sex and that person's body chemistry doesn't mix well with yours and you're irritated afterwards. These, pop one of these in for a few days and you'll be right back on track. But yeah, guys, that is all I have. Wait, I forgot. When it comes to shaving and getting your waxes, keeping the skin on the top and around your vagina moisturized is coconut oil. Coconut oil is what I use, organic coconut oil. You can find it at all of your local grocery stores. I got this one, I don't even remember where, but um, I just use this after I get my waxes. I take my shower, I make sure I exfoliate the top part too to make sure that you get the dead skin off and then I moisturize and hydrate my sister girl with coconut oil. Um, and it doesn't bother you, it doesn't throw your pH balance off. So just remember that when you're shaving or you know sometimes um, you can use that over necessarily like a a shaving um, like those aftershave things like I like to stick with stuff that's more natural so that I know what I'm putting on my body and I can know that it won't harm it and coconut oil will not harm your sister girl and will actually um, hydrate her really well in many ways like don't let that go over your head um but yeah that's all I got for you I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't boring I hope it was very educational to you you know like I said this is just my routine this is not P this is not what's the word FDA approved this is Raven approved so just know that when you are trying these products just make sure that it works for you and it is proof through your doctor if you want to ask your doctor about anything feel free um if you want to ask me any questions in the comments below ask me questions I will answer them if there's any other products you want to suggest let me know girl but yeah, guys, that's all I have. So until the next video, I'll see you next time.